hello and welcome to my how to kill a kit with style uh for november my kit and plans so if you watched um my monthly my october monthly wrap up i went through in detail everything that i had uh left over all of the layouts that i got done during the month of october um, I did get quite a few layouts done and I used quite a bit of this lovely kit, although I did use uh, some other uh, mini kits that I had put together for Scrapathon 4 because I had both uh, a product focus and a project focus on October and I'm carrying a lot of that over. So basically everything that I showed you yesterday, that I uh, well, not yesterday, but Thursday, that I had left in my kit, I am keeping. Um, so we're going to move all of that forward. So if you missed what I had left, uh, just pop on over to um, Thursday's video and you will see one, all of the layouts and two, what I had left over. And then I said, but I'm going to be adding to it um, and so the question I had was whether I was going to add some of those mini kits that I still had or whether I was going to add some new things into my stash. And I did a little bit um, of both. So let's go look, I guess. Let's start with, um, let's start with the photos actually because I've printed off because I'm going to continue that focus and I hope to finish that lovely mini series, the fun mini series that I'm doing based on um, passion scrapbooking. So I printed off a couple of extra photos. I want to do a layout based on this year long spending freeze, my stash dive spending freeze, and all of the scrappy buddies that have joined me, my lovely friends, and we have both a chat um, and a Facebook group, the freeze gang going on. So I printed a photo for that. And then I realized that I really had not gone in and documented anything about the Mercy Tiara 27 day challenge group um, that I have been um, doing and uh, participating in and being an admin to for quite a few years now. And basically with my, my friend Giselle, we've been doing it um, quite intensely for the last uh, couple of years while Tracy, I think in maybe about a year and a half or almost two years now, has not been able to participate at all. So I thought I should document some of that. Some of that will be private. Some of the journaling I will share, but I did a little bit of a collage and printed that photo. So that gets added to the project focus portion of it. Then um, if we look at the papers I have added, um, so October was Thanksgiving here in Canada. November is Thanksgiving in the States. So I thought uh, I would add some things that I'm very thankful for. If you saw uh, my Friday, uh, my Freeze Friday video yesterday, you will see that I got a beautiful paper pad from my friend Sharon. And I got a lovely birthday present also from my lovely friend Helen in the UK uh, with a beautiful letter, uh, some watercolor um, paper that I'll be able to color in, uh, a book, an, uh, an awesome book signed by the author, so it's a little goodies, and this lovely paper pad. It's an A5 size, so I guess that's pretty much a six by eight for us, and it matches, look, does that not match these colors beautifully? The red, the beautiful blue with the red and a little bit of the, the green, the same green that I have here. Uh, so this is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. My friends do so know me. I'm so very lucky and grateful and thankful for all my lovely, lovely scrappy friends who have become much more, uh, many of them much more than just scrappy friends, including Helen. So look at this lovely paper, a beautiful floral. Oh, and it's embossed, how fun. So there are two sheets of this, um, embossed and some lovely glittery, which has got sort of more the hot pink um, in there and that lime green. 
than the beautiful blue. Exactly. And I mean, that could not be more of a perfect, perfect match. Polka dot. Uh, again, with some lovely glitter. And that's closer to the sort of reddish color. Yeah, so closer to the reddish color. A lovely gingham embossed with some glitter as well. Um, and is that back to the same? No, nope. different, different, different. Beautiful little floral. These sort of almost look like little cameos, floral little cameos. Uh, a lovely polka dot, larger polka dot than this one. And closer, and this matches more this sort of tomatoey red color. I swear this could have been made to go with photo plate. And then this gorgeous floral as well. So lovely, lovely paper pad. Uh, and I love this because this is stuff that you cannot get here in Canada for sure. Uh, probably not in the States. Uh, and it comes from the UK. So that always really, really, uh, I really enjoy. So I'm adding that. Um, some scraps, if you recall, I think at some point I shared, I found some lovely sassafras in my stash. So I added the scraps from a TN spread that I did, a few six by six papers uh, that also match a scrap that I have here. And then this I had started using, I punched out some circles, the colors again, uh, are a lovely match. So I thought I would use that to maybe punch out some shapes, maybe do uh, make some foundations for embellishments. And then I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 12 by 12 papers, all in matching colors. Some of these I did take from the mini kits that I had, this pink paisley pick me up. For this side, for sure, although this side, no, a little too, too pale. These lovely blues that go down into this a color from Chamel, but then also uh, I could use a lot of these as cut apart. So I think I'll use a little bit of both sides of this. Pink and white, I think I had this in the mini kits. Uh, the hot pink that matches, and this is from Crepe Paper. Uh, this is Maggie Holmes Shine, uh, the Pink Fresh, where I have here this sort of more tomatoey red, the red, the teal or the mint color, uh, and I could even use this side. Uh, this is also from Crate Paper. Um, no, it's a Pink Paisley. It's a Paige Evans, number 16. I don't remember which collection this was from um if somebody remembers let me know but it's a beautiful i just love that uh, lovely little teal um, black and white stripe from dear lizzie new day uh this i've already used i had i had two pieces of this from crepe paper uh hello love so there you go so those are the papers i have added uh part of the lovely goodies that Helen sent me is this fun bag. Again, the blues, the reds match. Um, this is almost the lime. It's a little more yellowy maybe, but look, I can make it, I can definitely make it work. Some doilies, always a good thing to have. Um, Karen's, uh, one of her product focuses this month, um, stickers. So I'm using these, I'm carrying these forward. Uh, we had some a label focus, um, but I'm using these as stickers. Um, another sticker that I'm moving forward from the mini kit from Heidi Swap. Uh, and they have some labels on the side, but work with the stickers. Then some chipboard stickers from, these are from Horizon. Uh, from Paige Evans, and I've used quite a bit of that, and I'm carrying these forward as well. And then some extra little alphas, this fun, happy life. I think this was also from Horizon, as is this. Uh, I've used quite a bit, but you know, these, these are the alphas, this sort of little thickers that just keep on giving. I have a teensy bit of this left, see if we can get some words with that. 
I pulled in this, so maybe we could get some stitching done. Two washi tapes. This one I would really like to finish. There's not much left in it, and it sort of matches the paler pink. And then this one goes closer into, uh, you know what? I don't really know whether this matches. Hmm. Not so sure this is going to make the cut. We're going to put it there and see. And then lastly, uh, some Nuvo drops. So I have Autumn Red in the crystal, which goes with the red, of course. Carnation Pink crystal drops as well. This lovely Calming Aqua, which is a perfect, perfect match to those. And Midnight Blue, one of my absolute favorites, another crystal drop. So there you go. So that's what I'm going to be doing with How to Kill a Kit with Style for November. Please don't forget to pop on down. Um, I will have links to all of my lovely scrappy friends that are joining this month. Many of them probably got their kit shares up yesterday on Friday. I'm getting mine up on Saturday because I already had the freeze Friday yesterday so I felt that was a lot of kit sharing going on and I didn't really want to confuse myself or you so don't forget pop on down and see everyone come back and see what I get up to with this in November and my project focus I hope to finish this lovely little mini series thanks for being here talk to you soon as always I love reading your comments and I so appreciate your support See you soon. Bye.